Yes? I don't want to talk right now. You by yourself? Are you waiting for somebody? Yeah, I'm by myself and happy to be. I'm an angry person and I hurt my kids, my work, and everyone I love. Oh, well, just my time. Okay, I'm not in the mood. I came here to be alone. Hey, listen, I've just been checking you out from across the cafe, and I don't want to make you uncomfortable, but you are by far the best looking woman in this place. Thank you very much. Yeah, and no, I was just, I'd love to buy you a drink, maybe talk to you, get to know you a little bit, you know? I mean, you're here in business? Okay, I see. All right, you, you have a boyfriend? Not anymore. Jeez, man. Sorry to hear that. God, you want to talk about it? I don't talk to strangers. Well, that's the thing. I'm not a stranger. No, no, no. We've met, we've met before. Oh. Summer 94. Mistaking me for someone else. No. We even fell in love. Really? Mm hmm. Hmm. I vaguely remember someone sweet and romantic. Who made me feel like I wasn't alone anymore. Someone who had respect for who I was. Mm -hmm. That's me. I'm that guy. I don't think so. Oh, see, see, I know something about tonight that you don't know. Really? What is that? Something important. You see, I, I know because I've actually already lived through this night. How? I'm a time traveler. Okay. No, I have a time machine up in my room, and I, I've come to save you just like I said I would. Save me from what? Save you from being blinded by all the little bullshit of life. It's not bullshit. I assure you, that guy you vaguely remember, the sweet romantic one that you met on a train? That is me. That's you? Yeah. Guess I didn't recognize you. Hmm. You look like shit. <laughs> well, what can I say? I mean, it's tough out there in time and space. You, on the other hand, are even more beautiful than I remember. Bullshit. Jesse, this is not a game. You get all cute, you get in my panties, and next thing I know, I'm buying peanut butter in Chicago. You're not gonna make it better by some little pickup line. I'm not trying to pick you up. No, no, you, you misunderstand me. No, 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 no. I'm only here as a messenger. I've just traveled all the way from the future. I was just with your 82-year-old self who gave me a letter to read to you. So, here I am. I'm still alive in my 80s? <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. How's my French ass? Nice. Okay. Really nice. Uh, I don't care about the way I look. Let's just say there's more of you to love. Okay, great. Okay, do you want me to read to you? Oh, do I have a choice? Oh, sure. I mean, if you're not interested in what you have to say. No, no, no. Read it. Okay. All right. Well, here it is. Dear Celine, I am writing to you from the other side of the woods. This letter is lighting a candle. Okay, that stop will... it. I would never write this too flowery. Other side of the woods. What fucking woods? What are you talking about? May okay. I please continue? Okay. I'm sending you this young man. Yes, young. And he will be your escort. God knows he has many problems and has struggled his whole life connecting and being present even with those he loves the most. And for that, he is deeply sorry. But you are his only hope. Celine, my advice to you is this. You're entering the best years of your life. Looking back from where I sit now, these middle years are only a little bit more difficult than when you were 12 and Matthew and Vanessa danced all night to the Bee Gees, How Deep Is Your Love? Celine, you will be fine. Your girls will grow up to become examples and icons of feminism. Nice one. Yeah, well, anyway, you know what I just noticed? That there's a, there's a postscript on the bottom. It looks kind of important. Maybe I should skip over or something that's kind of boring. Yes, yeah, keep away. Please keep away. Okay. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, well. The boring stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like blah, 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 financial tips and some horoscope stuff. Okay, here it is. P.S. By the way, the best... By the way, the best sex of my life happened one night in the southern Peloponnese. Don't miss it. My whole sexual being went to a new groundbreaking level. 
Groundbreaking, great. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Okay, Jesse, can you stop this stupid game? We're not in one of your stories, okay? Did you hear what I said to you back in the room? Did you hear me? Yes, I heard you. Now, whether you don't love me anymore, I figured you didn't mean it, but if you did, then, uh, oh, fuck it. And uh, you know something? You're just like the little girls and everybody else. You want to live inside some fairy tale, all right? I'm just trying to make things better here. All right, I tell you that I love you unconditionally. I tell you that you're beautiful. I tell you that your ass looks great when you're 80. Huh? I'm trying to make you laugh. Okay. All right, I put up with plenty of your shit. And if you think I'm just some dog who's gonna keep coming back, then you're wrong. But if you want true love, huh, then this is it. This is real life. It's not perfect, but it's real. And if you can't see it, then you're blind. All right, if I give up. So what about this time machine? What do you mean? How does it work? Well, it's complicated. Am I gonna have to get naked to operate it? I mean... Uh, yeah, 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 that's actually, it's been a real issue. You know, I mean, I don't, it closed just they don't travel well through the whole space-time continuum. It's... Wow, he's so smart. <laughs> oh, space-time. Continuum. Continuum. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's something that I've been thinking about, about your letter. Yeah. You know, you, uh, you mentioned the Southern Peloponnese. Yeah, yeah, and and uh, we're in the Southern Peloponnese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and do you think it could be tonight that you're still talking about them in your 80s? Well, it must have been one hell of a night we're about to have. Mm -hmm.